I miss Mester, the librarian at Chinook again. And now that it's December, we want to talk about some cozy winter reads. These are all books that make you want to get cozy with your nice cup of coffee or hot tea or hot chocolate or hot apple cider or even just hot water and get cozy and snuggle in and read. So grab your blanket, grab your hot drink, and let's talk about some good books. Our first one is The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. Nothing makes you feel quite as cozy as the scene where they meet the Ice Queen and she offers them some Turkish delight. It's a classic, it's an adventure story, and it'll make you want to get cozy. Similarly, The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman. Like, talk about this snowy adventure as she goes through to try to figure out what's happening to the souls of children across the land. So this is another um, modern classic and makes you want to snuggle in. If you like that snuggling in books, try the Shadow and Bone C series by Leigh Bardugo. Now there's some debate as to which team you might be on, but I'm telling you, winter makes you snuggle. And this book is set in the, in the winter of basically Russia. And it's cold and it's snuggly and you just want to snuggle in and enjoy the whole series. And it's a series and you can just keep binge reading. Other things that make you want to snuggle in. Sometimes I think a book set in space on a spaceship with a very small setting just makes me want to cozy in because the whole setting is a little claustrophobic. Nixia is one of those sorts of books. You settle in, you get cozy, you find out what's going on in space. And you know, this is a little bit of spooky, not a lot, a little, and that also just makes you want to snuggle in. If you like epic fantasy, the Black Witch series by Laurie Forrest will make you want to snuggle in get and get down with this book. It's big, so it's a little intimidating, but it doesn't feel big once you start reading. And the, the fantasy, the fascism that happens in here, it's compelling, and you just want to keep going. Also, the, it takes place mostly in the winter, and it is cold in this book. All right, I'm going to take a sip of my cozy drink. Mm. I've got some peppermint creamer in my coffee today. A Spy in the House by Y.S. Lee. This is a Victorian setting fantasy. And in this book, characters are girls and they're placed as maids, as spies. And the main character is set as a spy in a house and she's a little bit, she's new, so she's not great at the job yet. And she's figuring out how to do it. This book will make you want to snuggle in, read more, and it is a series so you can keep going. Love, Lies, and Spies by Cindy S. Ancy, also a Victorian detective story, and you just want to keep going. Like, these, these are snuggly, cozy. And The Last Apprentice series by Joseph Delaney. This is a series. You can keep, I, I like a series in winter. Like, you can just check them all out, settle in for a while. Um... Now this is a little bit more adventure-y, um, but I like a good adventure story in the winter, like a cold adventure where it's like damp and dank and you're just like, oh, I'm glad I'm not there. That's this type of adventure. So this is The Last Apprentice series by Joseph Delaney. Ice Fall by Matthew J. Kirby is fantasy and it's largely based on um, like Norse mythology, but if you like Fable Haven, if you like the Beyonders, if you like that type of fantasy, try Icefall by Michael Kirby or Matthew Kirby. Now, Between Shades of Grey is a little bit different. It's historical fiction. This is based on, um, actually, the author Ruta Sepetis based it on her family's ex family history. And this is what happened to Lithuania when the Soviets invaded during World War II. So it's a World War II story. But it is not a Nazi Holocaust story. It is a Soviet concentration camp story. So uh, an aspect of world history that maybe we as Americans are a little bit more unfamiliar with. And in this book, the main character and her family are sent to a Soviet gulag because the Soviets think that they're intellectuals. And the main character is an artist. And the only thing that she has to create art is um, pieces of ash from their campfire. And so it's called Between Shades of Grey. She's telling their story about what happens to her family. This book is so good and it's sad. It's totally sad, but it's as any World War II story is. Um, if you like this book, there are two companion stories based on other family members and it's really excellent and well-written. 
And our final story for this book talk, Evil Wizard Smallbone by Delia Sherman. If you like that cozy, mystery, fantasy, gentle, this is the book for you. That just You snuggle in, you grab your drink, and you enjoy it. Like, it just feels good for your brain. All right, all of these books are ones that we are able to check out, so make sure that you check them out by using the Follow It Destiny app and class link. Put it on hold, and then we'll check it out to you, so make sure that you do that. And let's get snuggly with our warm drinks and enjoy a good book. All right, have a great day.